Good evening, everybody. Open the meeting for the Selectmen's meeting for Tuesday, April 28th, 6.30 p.m. Ask everyone to please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. I will entertain a motion to ratify the payroll warrant and expense warrant for April 14th and April 21st. Okay, I'll make that motion. I will second. Any discussion? Okay. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Entertain a motion to approve the amended uh, selectman's mini uh, minutes for 414, regular and executive. I'll make that motion. I will second. Any discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Entertain a motion to acknowledge the minutes from the Memorial Committee for 310 and 415. I'll make that motion. I will second. Any discussion? No. Nope. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Entertain a motion to approve or to acknowledge the Police Station Planning Committee for 311 and the Cultural Council for 318. I'll make a motion. I will second. Any discussion? No. Nope. Uh, my only discussion, Karen, if we can forward over to the PSPC, um, the minutes have to be a little bit more concise. There's no motions made or approved or whatnot, and it's just a, you know, just have to do that a little bit clearer. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Announcements. Please join us for the groundbreaking ceremony for the Brookfield, for the new Brookfield Police Station to be held tomorrow at 4 p.m. at 7 Prouty Street. An act of honor on Saturday, May 2nd, 2015, the Mass 15th Volunteer Infantry will salute Brookfield soldiers who fought in the Civil War with an act of honor a program designed to illustrate the cultural heritage of the Brookfield Cemetery and its interments. At 9 a.m., members of the Mass 15th, the Brookfield Historical Commission and Cemetery Commission will participate in a workshop on stone cleaning, after which they will begin cleaning the 66 graves of soldiers from the Civil War. Public is invited to watch the cleaning and, is, and if information is available, listen to the lives of the soldiers buried there. Funding for this preservation event is from the Brookfield Community Club. Hellers to receive Brookfield Presenta uh, Preservation Award at noon on Saturday, May 2nd, 2015. The Brookfield Historical Commission will present their annual Historic Preservation Award at the Brookfield Cemetery. This year's award will be presented to Sarah and Rudy Heller for their complete restoration of the tip-top building on Central Street. This building is the last of the stores that once lined Central Street. All are welcome to join the Commission's presentation. Funding for the Solid Pewter Charge Charger Award is provided through a grant from the Brookfield Community Club. The Town of Brookfield Memorial Day Parade will begin at 10 a.m. Monday, May 25th at the elementary school. Citizens, comrades of, the military, of any military organization, veterans, police, fire, first responders, and all are invited to join in the town in proper observance of this day. Any other announcements? Hearing none, anybody wish to address the board this evening? Welcome, sir. Evening. Evening. Uh, Seeing you, you're going to be talking to Jim, who's the chairman of the uh, Brookfield Media Cable thing, which is good. Um, I've complimented him and his people very much, the, uh, the work they've done. And they've done quite well, and you guys got a new contract. It took you three months, you got a new contract, you selectmen, and we got a lot of money coming in. Um, but I got a couple of things. I spoke to Jim on a couple couple matters. Um, when we had the candidates night, um, a lot of people were wondering why the camera didn't get panned, and I spoke to Jim about it, and he said something about this poll here. So I was just wondering if we can do something to work to get the, the camera to pan um, so people can see uh, when they're speaking in the audience, if we could see who's, who's speaking and who's not speaking. Um, with all this new equipment, um, that's, that's, that doesn't take anything to do. Panning's been going on for a long time. Um, so I'd like to see that. Hopefully Jim will work on that. Um, I know he doesn't like this pole here, but everybody likes to hide behind there when you don't want to be seen in, in the room. So. Uh, that's what that's what the poll is serving, I guess, for some people. Um, the other thing is, um, when filming is done, um, I know the advisory board's being filmed every night, um, and we had a couple. Uh, we had two meetings, and each meeting was two hours long, and it was two weeks in a row, and 
we got an apology letter saying that for the two meetings they didn't come out properly. Uh, two hours each meeting was was that they didn't come out very good, and we got an apology letter from to the advisory board from from the cable access, and we're like all saying like we don't we don't you know we don't care if they're there or they're not there, but we get this apology letter. So we looked into a little bit more and we discussed what was on those two hour meetings, and there was a lot of content in those meetings, and they were filmed, and neither one of those meetings, he, Jim, I talked to Jim about it too, he said that they didn't film, they didn't get filmed properly due to the quality, I guess. Um, and we, as a committee, we discussed it, and some of the content on there, I think the public should have seen, um, and one of them, we had a little discussion with somebody, and I think that's one reason it didn't get put on um, but I ran the camera for seven years, and we never had, I never had any tapes that were not shown or did not come out properly. So we're all like, kind of like, are, are they censoring, or is there something more going on um, that should be going on? And I hate to see that, because he's, like I said, I think these guys are doing a wonderful job, but I just don't want to see any political stuff get mixed in here um, with their hard work, and I think that's what's happening. And, and that's why I'm bringing it forward, um, because those two meetings um, had a lot of content in them. Uh, we don't even care if they show up or not, but um, when those two meetings, those two meetings were very, very uh, in-depth on a couple of the budgets, a couple of the departments. We had the tree warden and we had the police department, um, which we went over a lot. And we also had the uh, recycling center down there, the uh, chairman from that committee, uh, from that department, I should say, not committee. And uh, we just, you know, two two meetings, two hours each meeting, and they didn't get, pro you know, something something wasn't right there. So I just, uh, hopefully it doesn't get political. I mean, we're, we're spending a lot of money here. Well, we're getting a lot from cable, 50000 and 50000 I think. And uh, it's not coming out of the town budget. And we've got, we got some real hard-working people. That I just don't want to see it turn political. Um, so hopefully Jim will comment on this. Um, thank you. Thank you. Anybody else wish to address the board this evening? Welcome, sir. I take it safe to say that Mr. Tomo is not attending? Mr. Tomo is not attending. Because okay, I actually had a couple questions actually revolving around him, but um, do you know after the election, does he plan to continue to work on the policy manual or is he just going to turn over his research? I can't speak for him. Oh, okay. I didn't know that if it had been discussed, if he'd said he'd continue to work on that. Okay. All right. Um, again, I, I literally haven't seen him in over a month. Oh, okay. He's coming a couple times. Okay. Um, the other item regarding Mr. Tomo was at a recent disciplinary hearing, he had said that last year an employee had been suspended for 30 days for lying. Who was that? I okay. Can't speak very well. Oh, okay. He he made that very clear about you know that that wasn't to be condoned, and he said that specifically. And I had no recollection of that, so I don't know what he was referring to. And also, since the since we have conflicting opinions about fire personnel appointment, there have been two requests for paperwork, copies of paperwork about appointments, and we haven't found it. I had um, I looked for it, and also. I had Chris to go through the hard files. I went yeah. to the computer and some of the hard files, and she went through the hard files. We haven't, we haven't come up with it yet. She okay. is still working on it. She went upstairs once. Yeah. I think she was going to go up again because um, Mike said perhaps it's in the um, town clerk's files. Okay. Because I asked it in the selectman's files. Yeah, I asked the town clerk a couple weeks ago about it too, and he said he found nothing about it. So. Oh, maybe Mike looked too. I, I yeah, I don't know how far he looked into the safe or upstairs or what, so I don't know if there was an update on that. So, all right, let me just have to go a different route on that. So, all right, well, all right. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Anybody else wish to address the board this evening? Oh, there was one. Oh, I don't see it. Well, there, I don't know if Jim wanted to. <laughs> there was one other thing. I understand that we're taking the quick fix thing out of service. Correct. Okay, and because of money reasons. It, for, the, for the fact that absolutely nobody's used it. Well, part of that, if we want to look, if you look at what's currently active on the quick fix system, there are four items on there, and three of them have never been resolved. 
So no, that, nothing, never, no, we never had any notice of that. They sent it to us every, since I've been sitting in the chair. Mm -hmm. It's been never any issues. They say no issues unless they're very old. Well, issues. well that, that's part they of it too. Is that old. of the four issues, one of them was a double pole issue, and the double pole issue was only resolved when um, a motorist in a car accident hit the poles. Well, and forced I've, it to be resolved. I've, um, but the I, other three issues have never the, been. The double poles I've been working on for over a year. Yeah. Ms. Grabowski, I know, was mm -hmm. working on that as well. I spoke with a gentleman at the hearing out in Worcester before the bridge started, got his contact info. I also spoke uh, to two gentlemen uh, when the house was being moved in a meeting in that room, and they assured me I gave that contact yeah. info. And, and, I, and I talked to them too, and they said they would just take some time. But they assured they're me they're aware of it, and they're yeah. working on it. Wow. That's half true. <laughs> there were. No, no, no. It's, it's, like, it's like pulling teeth. Yeah. Thank you. Agenda item number one, Mr. Sniffen. Welcome, sir. You timing yourself? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a quick one tonight. Yeah, I, I can see that. So I'm going to take about an hour and a half. Okay. We have we have no plans. I'm going to be here for a while. No, I'll be right. Can you just give one to Karen too, so she can keep it in house? Thanks. Okay. Um, first of all, um, we'll address Mr. Holcraft's comments. Um, without without getting a little upset anyways. Um, Mr. Cole, Holcraft has, has indicated that he's been doing cable access for like seven years, correct, David? I ran a camera for seven years. Okay. Well, I have 40 years of experience, so it's apples and oranges. Second of all, yeah, the, the pole is a, is a hindrance. I wish we could take a you know, a saw and cut it off, but we can't. Oh, so we, we have can, to work around something it. Something might happen. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So we just have to work around it. And I've said this before, because Mr. Holcraft has come to me before about panning, and I guess I have to keep bringing the subject back up. It's up to the camera person to capture what's in the audience if, or not. Some people don't like to be put on camera, too. That's another issue. Um, at, the, at a town meeting, for an instance, it's not really uh, the right thing to do to pan the audience, especially when they're voting, because that'll stir up a lot of things between themselves after a meeting anyways. So I'd just like to bring that back out. Second of all, Mr. Holcraft and I have had several discussions about his two meetings, and as I stated before, and I'll state it again, is one meeting, um, it was not a proper white balance taken in the camera, so naturally the film came out blue and dark. Mr. Holcraft was aware of that. I told him that. Second one, uh, again, the camera person didn't um, set things up properly, and there was no sound, or the sound was in and out. So uh, we just can't we just can't have that. And ever since I've been a chairperson since June of last year. I set a precedence for us to put out good quality work because everybody is watching and they deserve it, uh, whether it's people on cable or YouTube. So Mr. Holcraft does know that because I've talked to him about that. Now this letter that you're talking about, there's been no letter that came from my department. So I don't know where you're coming with that. You, somebody might have talked to you about that but there was no letter actually written. There so, was a letter from you? No, there wasn't. To one of our members? To no, me. no. Okay. I would say you show me the letter. Okay, I'll bring it in. You bring it in and you show it to me. I will do that. There was no letter made. No okay, letter. next meeting, you're on. Anyone knows me, I tell if, you where it is. I will tell you this, if you're gonna right, come Jim, after Jim, me, Jim, Jim, Jim. My, my last comment, if I you're gonna come story. after, if you are gonna come after me and my group, you better have the facts. Okay. That's what I'm telling I'm not you. Right, through, 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 through the so, board, gentlemen. Okay. Thank Good you. Suggestions. And so, if we can go over this. Well, the um, in regards to the two meetings, you advised the selectmen. You actually yes. did it in front of the camera. Uh, you brought it to the attention of the Correct. selectmen. 
Um, it is what it is with that. Um, me personally, if you're going to ask my recommendation, I'd like to see who's talking. Yeah. If you could pan, I know it's at I your discretion, could. but that's I'm Again. not here to tell you what to do. Right. It's your committee. Right. But me personally, if, I haven't watched these. I, I have no problem falling asleep. Um, I do wake up occasionally at night. I've thought about changing to the channel, but I haven't watched any of these in years um, because I just don't want to fall asleep. We've, we've been here, done that. Um, but I, I know that if I was somebody that wasn't at these meetings, I would like to see who's actually talking okay. as opposed to voice. So that's that's my only critique. Sure, if you not, want a problem. To use the word not a critique. problem. Um, at la last night's meeting, I uh, to talked to my members and explained to them again about the duties of being a camera mm -hmm. person. It's their discretion, what they want to do. As long as the video and the audio comes out great, every, every, everybody's happy. You, you can't, you're not going to be able to please everybody. I, I know. You know, but, but, we, we, but certainly, we certainly try to. Collectively here, we would yeah. like to see, I'm, and I'm speaking yes. for Linda because yeah. she just spoke, I would just, like to I see the panel. Yep. So I don't know if you want to have a discussion of that. You, you could. We'll do our best. You could implement a policy for that. So We'll do our best. Onward and upward. Onward and upward is correct. Okay. So after the uh, cable contract was signed, um, and again, I thank you for that, both of you. And if Nick was here, I thank him also. Mm -hmm. We'll thank him in spirit. He'll be watching on YouTube tonight. <laughs> there you go. Um, so um, what I did actually the following day is I contacted the sales rep at the uh, Telview company where we were getting our equipment from, and we had another long discussion. <clears throat> My first discussion with him back in uh, the summer, um, he gave me a listing very, very similar to what you're looking at now, and it was uh, a little over 100, about $100,000 for everything. I revamped the list three times. So we're actually down to $31,000 now uh, to start off with. So um, what you have before you is the listing of the equipment and software and cables and miscellaneous items that's going to be installed at the studio and the uh, receiver transmi transmitter at the town hall here for the live meetings. Okay. Um, it's roughly about thirty-one thousand uh, dollars. We should receive our first check. I'm kind of guessing, maybe like the beginning of August sometime. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be for that fifty, but I didn't want to spend the fifty right off the bat. I just wanted to spend thirty-one thousand of it because there's a lot of miscellaneous little items I have to get for everybody. I want to have um, an instance would be a, a go kit for every camera. So this way the person could just take the kit and go versus what we're doing now, make it a lot easier for them. So that's what I'm going to do with the uh, the balance of the money. Has your committee had a chance to review this? Yep, and last it? night as a matter of fact. Okay. And they all voted to approve that too, by the way, all just right. for the record. And what is, oh, this is always, I could go over it and probably decipher somewhat, but yep, go ahead. it's type, type three. But my, what sticks out to me is the connect fee it's free for the first year and then correct 15 it's, is it's um, I managed to get us a for the first year for free so what is the connect uh, the connecting is, is the... basically your support okay if something happens with the equipment if you have questions with the equipment um, they are literally a phone call and or replacement within 24 hours if we need be and how long is it warranted for it's warranted for the whole year and then after that year is when we can uh, we can purchase uh, every two years or three years whatever we want to do. So are you going to choose to enter into that fifteen hundred dollar? Uh, correct. Yes. It's, it's going to be worth it. Yep. Yep. Right. Yep. So I did manage to get us um, a lot of discounts on the equipment, as you can see by the percentages. We also got a um, a government uh, discount too because you know we're a town town affiliated. So that also helped too. So we actually saved a lot of money uh, in between. So like I said, this is going to give you an idea. The only thing that's going to be last will be the PD, of course, because we're going to put the transmitter and transceiver in there so they can do live too. And, and that's one thing too is when everything starts coming in and we start um, getting it installed, which will take one day um, between the software and the hardware, and then we're going to start training on it. 
the going live part is going to be like the last thing we're going to do, only because we have to know the system in and inside and out before we can go that live switch. But it is, it is in the future, so just hang in there. Okay. Um, I did manage to get two. I, I did get three quotes in the beginning, so I do have those. Uh, one quote was for a little over fifty-seven thousand dollars, and another quote was a hundred, a little over one hundred forty-four thousand dollars. But Telview uh, Direct Company, um, I got the best, basically the best bang for the buck. In at least, I would say, 95% of stations out there that are like us in size and everything, they're all using the Telview system. So it's a, it's a good quality system. Plus, the support is also there. Um, so last night I brought it to the, to the committee. I explained everything just like I'm doing now and, and gave them everything like what you have in front mm -hmm. of you. And they all like the system. They all like where we're heading. So they all voted okay with that. Um, the only thing I need to do is on this purchase order is I, I can sign it. Then I'm going to scan it and send it to the, uh, the salesperson. And he'll get it going. It's going to take roughly five to six weeks to get everything together. The money part actually comes later. So we actually are not going to get a invoice from them until the, the uh, equipment and the software is in, we're happy with it, everything is working okay, then that's when we'll get an invoice and I will pass that on to the board because you, you know, the board will have to go over that and sign it because it's over the, over the $10,000. But we're looking probably somewhere around, I'm guessing maybe late August, September our time frame before we even see a bill at all. Yeah. Okay. Any questions, Ms. Lincoln? No. Nope. Jim, Jim, explain it to you all. Any more? That was it. I just wanted to go over that with Quick you. Quick hour and a half. Get, get you an idea of what's going on. Excellent. Just hang in there with us. I, I know everybody's excited about going live. More than what I am, mm -hmm. but it's it's coming. It's just going to take some time. Beautiful. All right? Okay. All right. Thank okay. you. Thank you, sir. Item number two, <coughs> wage authorization. Um, according to Ms. Trainer, Ms. Lincoln has looked this over. Mm -hmm. I will entertain a motion to approve, approve the wage authorization for Ms. Patchen. Patchen. For the clerk of, I'm going to make these easy to read. Conservation, Conservation Commission. Commission. Do we I'll have make, a motion? I'll make that motion. I will second. Any discussion? Mm -hmm. None all in favor? Aye. Aye. I would like to bring up though where the um, this wage and step and grade, um, we have to somehow get <coughs> revise, it. revise it because mm -hmm. the thing is it starts at eight dollars and minimum wage is what nine dollars and do you want to go over that and bring it to the next meeting? Yeah, I can bring it to the next meeting, but I mean, I really don't understand it myself that well, and nobody really understands that at all. So it's going to be worked on. If we could get, you know, maybe get some volunteers that would maybe help out to if work you want on it. Look to Mr. Pierce. I know he had a good working knowledge with it. Mm -hmm. Reach okay. out to him. Yeah. If you need to uh, set meetings, we can set meetings and go over as a board if you'd like. Okay. And we voted. Did we vote? Aye, aye, aye. Um, yes. Yeah. We did. Nice. Nice. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, any other items on the agenda? Uh, correspondence. National Grid is basically asking us if we have any issues with their vegetation management plan. Uh, they've given us notice, I believe, twice. This would be the third notice. Mm -hmm. And they're requesting more information or issues if people have it. Sensitivity issues, I believe, was their, was, yeah. was their wording. Um, item number two the for correspondence is uh, Comcast and Time Warner has uh, been in negotiations with a merger with Charter, and they're informing the town of Brookfield that they are um, stepping back from that negotiation, and they will not be merging with Charter anymore. Um, under other, 
Uh, we have had free cash certified from the Massachusetts Department of Revenue. Ms. Wagner has certified effective uh, July 1st, 2014 for the year $242,292 for free cash. Um, I believe a large portion of that will be going to the snow and ice yeah, deficit. That, that's a decent amount. Mm. Yeah. Any other issues before the board no, this evening? I don't think so. Anybody? Going once, going twice? Okay. Quickest meeting ever? I will entertain a motion to adjourn. I will. I will make will that, you make that motion? motion and I, I will second it. I will second it. I will second it. Do you like that? Yeah, yeah. you. Any discussion? Aye. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, everyone.